Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Black, gay, that leaves Democratic Party, becomes Republican, needs everyone to know why. Now boasting nearly 150,000 members in its Facebook group and widespread media coverage, the hashtag #WalkAway movement is taking the Democratic Party by storm. Former Democrats telling their stories of why they are choosing to hashtag walkaway on various forms of social media is a message that resonates with many Americans. Brandon Straka, a gay hairdresser from New York City is the founder of the walkaway campaign along with the viral hashtag hashtag walkaway. According to Fox News, Straka cites the negative rhetoric spoken by the left and intolerance it has shown has been a big reason as to why he's walked away. He simply made a video explaining the evolution of his thought process, and his choice to simply walk away from a political party that he believes left him behind. Posting his thoughts on social media, it promptly went viral. Straka begins with, Once upon a time, I became a liberal. Well, to be honest, less than a year ago, I was still a liberal. He continues, I reject a system which allows an ambitious, misinformed and dogmatic mob to suppress free speech create false narratives, and apathetically steamroll over the truth, I reject hate." He called liberalism intolerant, inflexible, illogical, hateful, misguided, ill-informed, un-American, hypocritical, menacing, callous, ignorant, narrow-minded and at times blatantly fascistic. He then adds, if you are a person of color, an LGBT person, a woman or an American immigrant, the Democratic Party wants you to know you are a victim. This is perhaps the Democratic Party's greatest, and most insidious, lie. Straka at one point was denied service at Electronics Superstore at Arama in Manhattan after he was recognized after an interview with Fox News host Tucker Carlson talking about the walkaway campaign. He tweeted, I'm shaking right now. I just went into a camera store to buy a camera and a light and mic, etc. and they recognized me from TV. I was refused service because they said it was for alt-right purposes. That literally just happened. Rob Smith is another man who chose to leave the damn party. Inspired by Straka's campaign, Smith also chose to hashtag walkaway. A black, gay, army veteran, Smith was also sick of being told he was little more than a victim and forced to participate in identity politics and false narratives. Appearing on Fox News Waters World on Saturday, Smith states, I think for me, I got so sick of the lies. What they were telling black people. When you are a black person you get messages from Democrats saying you are a victim and you need us to succeed and you need us to achieve, you need this ever-expanding welfare state to make something of yourself. I got tired of it and sick of that message that it needed them, and I got sick of that message of victimhood that they continue to push to black Americans for the last three decades of my life." Smith stated he simply gave up on the Democratic Party because he refuses to be told what to think or say or be kept in line. He explained. I think Democrats use identity politics to keep people in line. To keep black people in line. To keep Latinos in line. To keep gay people in line. I'm black and gay, and I have seen them use the same tactics for black people as they do for gay people." Smith also spoke with Waters on just how difficult it was to choose to walk away. Smith made the distinction that it was actually easier to come out as a gay man than it was a Republican. He explained, I didn't lose friends when I came out as gay. I've lost friends since coming out as Republican. People do not understand it and these are the left, that's supposed to be so tolerant and inclusive. These are the people who were the first to shun me when I came out as conservative." Smith states he has personally faced a lot of criticism for his choices and has been called everything but a child of God for choosing to follow what his conscience dictates that he must do. He asked simply, but why can't I have different ideas? Why can't I be free-thinking? Why can't I have a victor mentality? The hashtag walkaway stories are compelling and often quite moving, resonating with large swaths of the population. People from every imaginable background, black, white, Hispanic, rich, poor, straight, gay, trans, and even celebrities have spoken out and explained their reasons for choosing to leave the Democratic Party. Many of them have voted as a Democrat since they were first able to vote. The majority of them have lost friends for choosing to think for themselves and refusing to be kept in line. Many of them have also found support and friendship among others also dealing with the same level of displacement in the hashtag walkaway community. Interestingly enough, the walkaway campaign has gained such traction and so many have responded choosing to hashtag walkaway, left-leaning mainstream media sources have attempted to discredit the movement claiming that it is simply a right-wing propaganda effort propped up by a legion of Russian bots. PJ Media reports, in 2016, 
the Democrat media complex ignored the massive grassroots movement that came out in support for Trump, dismissing his massive rallies and popularity online as somehow insignificant. Now they are dismissing the hashtag walkaway campaign as a propaganda movement. Once again, something genuine and significant is happening across the nation, and it's getting ignored or ridiculed by media elites. It doesn't matter. Like a snowball rolling downhill, the movement is getting bigger and bigger with each day and there's nothing an elite can do to stop it. In story after story, former Democrats, including a popular, Grammy-nominated musician, describe how they finally saw through the lies, smears, duplicity, and hypocrisy that infects today's Democratic Party. And how they couldn't help but notice the outrageous double standard in the way liberals and conservatives are treated. For people who remotely pay attention, the corrupt stench of the party is getting harder and harder to ignore. Laws are made for everyone and now it's as if Democrats, sick, are protecting each other and seems like they can break the laws and they get away scot-free, writes Barbara Kaminsky, who says she comes from a long line of Democrats. If an ordinary person like me did the things they do I would be under the jail. I am disillusioned by the fact that Hillary got off with nothing for the massive corruption, dishonesty and lies she has done and just skates back to her mansion and a young naval man takes a picture to send his family and goes to prison. I could go on and on but I digress. Christiana S. F. Chaman writes that she comes from a very leftist Brazilian family that essentially told her what to think. She says she voted for Obama twice, and really thought Republicans were evil racists, bigots, and Bible thumpers. Her eyes started to open near the end of her freshman year in college, when she says she started asking her leftist friends questions. The more questions I asked, the more insults I was called, Chaman says. Racist, sexist, misogynist, etc. I soon realized that these leftists are the very thing they claim to be against, racist, intolerant, close-minded, etc. Anything that dares be different from their echo chamber, immediately they lash out. During her journey, Chayman found out that everything she was told about the opposing party was a lie. T.S. moderates slash libertarians slash republicans are some of the kindest, most open-minded people I've ever met, she writes. Through friendly discussions with people on the center slash right whom I disagreed with, I learned to look at things objectively and not base my opinions on those of a collective group, whether left or right. I became a free thinker, and I encourage everyone to do the same. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.